What's up everyone? Hope you are all doing well. This is your host Manik and I'm back with another video. Yeah, it's a new rom again for OnePlus devices. Because really, I can never settle on one. So in this video, let's have a quick look at the Android Open Source Illusion project or AOSIP or whatever. Don't make me pronounce that name again. So let's get started. And before we get into it, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon next to it to stay notified about the latest videos from this channel. And as usual, the instructions to flash this room are at the end of this video. So stay tuned, okay? So let's get to the overall experience. Well, I keep switching devices over and over again these days. But only custom rooms are something that make me stick to this OnePlus 6. As we have a ton of them and this room is no different. That boot animation surely looks dope in the dark. And I know, you won't flash it just for this. But just saying, it's good. The default launcher here as is the case with most rooms, is Pixel Launcher. So you get all the great stuff in this clean looking launcher. User interface wise, it is good and smooth, but there were a couple of hiccups. And we'll get to that later. Now let's see what new features we have in settings. Apart from the usual stuff, there are various tweaks in this Owl's Nest menu. Here, you can make some tweaks to the status bar, show hide the icons, adjust clock settings and more. One good thing that I observed with this one is with the status bar icons. They are smaller than usual and thus you can see more icons at once from other apps too. So that's good. Mm, so in the notifications tab, you get the usual options to customize the LED notification and this one does have that edge lighting feature. But it's more of a plain custom room like Omni. Moving on, we have the usual settings like customizing navbar, button customization, screen of animations, etc. In the lock screen settings, you get a host of options like charging animations, album art settings and other tiny controls for your lock screen. You do have certain gestures here in this tab like camera shortcuts, three finger screenshots. Oh, speaking about screenshots. No, there is no expanded screenshots or anything in this room. And as I said, it is a plain and clean room. But what extra settings this one has is in the themes tab. So you can customize the basic primary colors and you get a lot more accent colors too. Some newer clock faces are also there by default. So that's good. And some additional fonts like that from One UI and additional icon shapes have also made their way to the customization part in this room. Anything else extra you might ask? Mm, yeah, some settings from Oxygen OS like DC dimming, panel modes, lock screen gestures and alert slider customization. And that's all. And yeah, it has that always on display too. But no face unlock is not there. And that would be all. These are all the features this room has for now. Moving on to the battery life and gaming performance on this room. So the battery life has been quite good so far. If you don't use a device for gaming, you will end up with more than 5 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time. Which is on the great side, as I did use all other apps for quite a lot. And if you play PUBG on extreme and smooth settings, well the experience was good. And I found no issues as such. No frames drop either and the screen recorder works too. Though the battery did start to drop quickly while gaming. So it isn't the best room if you play a lot of games as it doesn't even have that basic gaming mode. And here are the benchmark scores too in case you needed to see them. So overall it's a good room to try. Not the best out there though as it lacks some basic customization that we normally see in other rooms. So I would recommend it to those who just want a stable room and are not interested in customizing their phone to a whole new level. Rest you can give it a shot in case you are bored, but don't expect a ton of features, alright? Now let's see how you can flash this room. So the process is really simple. Just follow along and you will be good to go. So first of all, remove all the lock screen password and reboot your device to re-replay your recovery. Now go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. After that, flash the latest version of Oxygen OS. So go to install, choose oxygenos.zip file and swipe to flash. And after that, flash the latest twrp.zip file. And after it is done, reboot to twrp recovery once again and repeat the same process. That is, flash oxygenos10.zip file and twrp.zip and reboot to twrp recovery once again. Now go to install and choose the zip file of from this time and swipe to flash it. Once it's done, you have successfully flashed the room. Now reboot the system and enjoy the experience. So that's it. 
This was the full review of AOC Pro on OnePlus 6. Do like this video if it helps you out and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.